Hello, this is Saul, and today I want to show you about a new command. I think this is new as of version 1.1, the big melt, gm command. So I made this command because I came across this data set. You'll notice that there's a bunch of columns. Basically what this is is that there's a single case number, and then horizontally we've got uh, a bunch of different calls for that case number. And we've got per each call, we've got a date, and then a question asked, and then an answer given. And that's all we have here. So if we look at the main sheet here, and make this a key column like we would if we were melting it normally, and we melt this sheet down, then you have one column with the call underscore date, and another one with the value, which if we only had the one kind of data would be fine. But we actually have dates, questions, and answers all spread around horizontally. So what we want to do is melt it such that the columns are decomposed so that you have on each row a data question and answer for each thing. How we do this in Visit Data is I made this G capital M command. So that's G capital M, and it asks for a regex. And this is going to split the column up according to this regex, and the first part is going to be the variable column like we had before, and the second part is going to be the kind of column it's going to make for the value. And so if these were just called call one underscore date, et cetera, without the number after the thing, the one that popped up here would be fine. But since it has this extra number, we're going to add to the regex here and just make it so that it strips the number out. And then we'll, I'm going to show a different way of doing this afterwards. If we do that, now you can see that we have the variable call one, two, three, whatever, and then date, question, and answer. And then we can scroll down and find out for all the other case numbers also. Now you'll see here also that there's a bunch of blank cells here. And so we're actually going to fix that now. We're going to quit back to the other sheet here. In the options page, there is these is null uh, options. And we're going to make empty is null be true. And then if we do the exact same melt as we did before here, then you'll see we don't have any of the blank ones anymore because it took the nulls out. And we basically said that empties were nulls, and so it just took them out. And so now we have the properly formatted sheet like we wanted to with all the melted values. So I wanted to do this with another example here. It's a really hard thing to describe, and so we're um, going to try it with some of our sample data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot and then use the big melt to unpivot. So we did this in the last video. And that's fine if you've only got one kind of value that you're pivoting and aggregating and then another one to melt it like that. We're going to make the, make the reps be the key column here. We're going to pivot based on the item. And we're going to make it so that the number of units is summed and the total is also summed. And then if we pivot based on pencil, or I'm sorry, based on the type of thing that's being sold here. You can see that we've got now units sum for everything and then total sum for everything. And that's grand. If we wanted to melt this down as we did before, obviously we'd have one for units, one for total. If we want to have them on the same row, units and total, we do the exact same GM command that we had before. We've got the columns here. You can see that we have got the, both the units and the totals here. And so if we go to the column sheet, I want to remove the underscore sum. And I actually, because of the way that GM is structured, we actually want the category value first and the type of column second. And so we're going to swap these around. We're going to do another transform here. We're going to do everything. This is just like the GM, except for we're going to swap them around here. Let's just swap them there. I'm going to delete these two columns. But now that we've got this set up this way, we can do this G melt, this big melt, and give it just the default here. And you'll see that now we have the variable that we pivoted up on and the total in dollars and the units as numbers. And that's exactly correct. So that's how you would use the G melt the big melt command to unpivot. Oh, and that's how you might use it to deconstruct a uh, horizontal sheet that's a little more complicated than just simply one value. Thanks for using Visit Data, and I'll see you next time.